Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Thursday, August 26th. I'm David Lehman, the Bishop of Caledonia, and I'm on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Shimshan people, a privilege I gratefully acknowledge. Our worship is found in the Book of Common Prayer and begins on page 722. We are on the eve of the Feast of St. Monica. It is one of my favorite saints' days because she's an incredible mother, persistent in prayer, and her prayers, though years later, are, are answered. And her son becomes one of the great theologians of the church, Augustine of Hippo. And so because of her persistence in prayer and her dedication to her son and and the faith, uh, we get to benefit and reap from his incredible mind. And so we're thankful for Monica and her faithfulness and prayer and dedication over years and years. So there may be someone you're praying for. Just keep praying. Just keep praying. And with that in mind, we come to a time of worship, and so we pause and are still before the Lord, as we know we're surrounded by His grace, mercy, and love. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for today is a portion of Psalm 115, found on page 481. Psalm 115, page 481. We shall say verses 12 through 15 together. The Lord hath been mindful of us, and hath blessed us, and, shall, and he shall bless us. Even he shall bless the house of Israel, he shall bless the house of Aaron. He shall bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. May the Lord increase you more and more, you and your children. Blessed be ye of the, of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of John, beginning in the 16th chapter at the 20th verse. Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will weep and lament, and the world, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn to joy. When a woman is giving birth, she has sorrow because her hour has come. But when she has delivered the baby, she no longer remembers the anguish, for joy that a human being has been born into the world. So also you have sorrow now, but I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy from you. In that day, you will ask nothing of me. Truly, truly, I say to you, whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he will give to you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive, that your joy may be full. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together that he look as ante terminum. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favour thou, Wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, From nightly fears and fantasize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, That no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, 
through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye, hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to our hearts, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Together we say the confession. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us all our sins, and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. The Collect for this the Eve of the Feast of St. Monica. O God, who heard the prayers and gathered up the loving tears of Monica for the conversion of her child Augustine, deep in our devotion we pray, help us to work in accordance with your will, that we may bring others, even our own kindred, to the knowledge and love of Jesus Christ who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world 
may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers and petitions for the people and places that are upon your heart this night. Inviting you to name them out loud or share them in the comments box where we, where we may all enter into prayer along with you. We pray this night for all who are suffering from the coronavirus, for the increasing number in this province and across Canada as the fourth wave consumes us, overwhelms us. For those who are in hospital, particularly in ICU beds, for those who are at home recovering, for all whose recovery is longer and complicated, for those who are awaiting test results and the billions of people awaiting a first vaccine, we pray for their strength and salvation and we pray for God's healing hand to be upon them and upon all who suffer this night. For those who are struggling with mental health issues, particularly grief, anxiety, and depression. For all who lament the loss of the children at the residential schools and the systemic racism that has perpetuated those losses and lack of acknowledgement. For all who suffer this night from other cruelty and injustices and for the weight that that is upon their souls. For all who are struggling with addictions, particularly in this opioid crisis. For all who are suffering and waiting for doctor's appointments, diagnoses, surgeries. For all recovering from surgeries and all those undergoing treatments, therapies and procedures. That God will guide and direct those who have care of them, sustain them and their families, and give, the, give them wisdom and patience in their suffering. On Thursdays, we pray for government. And so we pray for the local community governments, for the indigenous communities, for the elected chiefs and councillors, for the hereditary chiefs and matriarchs, for the elders. In municipalities, we pray for the elected mayors and councillors. In all communities, we pray for the volunteers, the people, for all people who give of themselves so that our communities may be the wonderful places that they are, and that we may be built up into strong communities that support and empower one another. We pray for those who lead across the provinces and territories. For those who lead in this province, for John Horgan, our Premier. For the members of Cabinet, thinking tonight particularly of Adrian Dix, the Minister of Health. For the, all who are elected to the legislature. For Dr. Henry and the work of her office in the distribution and administration of the vaccines and for the regulations that try to keep us safe and keep the healthcare system from being overwhelmed. We pray for those who are involved in the educational systems, in the decisions being made over the next couple of weeks about school and how classes will work both in person and online. And for the, for those who are working to rebuild the economy in this province and across the country and around the world. We pray for all who have let their names stand for the upcoming general election, for the campaigns that are underway, for the conversations being had around dining room tables and in, in, in town halls, and, and online as people gather to talk about who it is they wish to lead in their constituency and in the country. And for our opportunity to participate in democracy. 
and for the incredible gift of elections and and nonviolent transition of power. We pray for the world and for all who offer themselves to public office. We pray for Germany in its time of transition, at the end of a long reign uh, for Merkel, and for um, the next leader that they have, and and for the incredible transition happening there. We pray for countries that are beset this night, praying for the people of Afghanistan, especially after the horrific bombings today, for the end of Canadian flights out of Afghanistan, for those who have been left behind, for the women and children, for the women and girls particularly, and for their safety. We pray for all the trouble spots in the world, praying for the Holy Land, for Israel and Palestine, for Myanmar, Syria, Uganda, Nigeria, for remembering the two Michaels in China. We pray for those who are leading in times of natural disaster, praying for Haiti without a president and, um, and dealing with earthquakes and floods and um, and just so little resources and for the people there for the crisis that that nation's in yet again. For the people of Ethiopia in another drought and food shortage and for all the nations that are struggling with food security at this time. We pray for the parts of the world dealing with wildfires in this province across Canada and Europe, the United States, for parts of the world dealing with flooding in China, India, Australia, for, the, for people to be kept safe during a pandemic and for the, the global effort to address the pandemic, to vaccinate the world, and to bring safety and security to all lands. We pray for the mission and ministry of the church around the world. We pray this night for Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, for Linda Nichols, our primate, for Mark McDonald, our National Indigenous Anglican Archbishop, for Lynn McNaughton, our Metropolitan, for the people and clergy, uh, the clergy and the laity that serve in the parishes, and for all of our participation in the in Christ's kingdom here on earth. So with all these prayers and with yours, we offer our intercession. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, grief, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, and those that have desired us and worthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I invite your thanksgivings for this day. I am thankful. There were many distractions today and many things that came up unexpectedly. Um, some for good and some just as distractions. Um, so I give thanks to God for um, the blessing of work and the blessing to chat with uh, some people 
um, over the course of the day and to um, try to tackle some some important things for folks and, and to offer some encouragement. Um, and for the blessings of a lovely evening after a day of sort of mist and rain. And for the beauty of creation. So with your thanksgivings we pray. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us. For life and health and safety. For power to work and leisure to rest. For all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men, women, and children. We praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace and believing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue on the bottom page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For tis thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Bless, keep, and preserve you this day and indeed forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our holy hug on the way to bed tonight. Pray you have a most restful night. Tomorrow at 12.15, you'll find me, hopefully, on the St. Andrew's Cathedral Facebook page. Facebook's been acting up. Um, otherwise it'll be on this page and I'll shunt it across afterwards, um, for a service of midday prayer at 1215. And then God willing, I'll be back tomorrow at nine o'clock for another service of Compline. Until then, nighty night. <laughs>